What's going on guys, my name is Kerry and today I'm gonna to explain the entire manufactured home buying process from start to finish, step by step. This is a topic I get asked about a lot. Where do I start? What do I look for? How long does it take? This video is meant to be a step-by-step -step guide to buying a new manufactured home and then from there you can do your own research to find the perfect home for you. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Before we even get into the steps, the first thing you're gonna need is a down payment. So we're gonna call this step zero. How much you need for a down payment depends on the cost of the house you're looking at and the percent down required for your financing. But for easy math, let's say the house costs $100,000 and the company you're dealing with requires 10% down to make the order. That means you'll have to save $10,000 before you can order a home. 10% down is the minimum we require as a down payment on a factory order home, but that could be different from place to place. Over the years, we've had people do anywhere from 5% all the way up to 100% as a down payment on a factory order. So it's one of those things that could be different in every situation. Most people do around 10 to 20% down. So step zero is to find out approximately how much the size and style of the home you want costs and then start squirreling that down payment money away as fast as you can so you can move into step one of the home buying process. Saving money is no easy task. This is one of the hardest steps of the entire process and prevents a lot of people from ever buying a manufactured home, but it is possible. When you have the money for the down payment saved, you can move into step one, which is talk to a lender to see how much you qualify to borrow for the home. The main factors they're gonna look at are a combination of your household income, debt, and credit. At the same time, we'll call this step 1A, you're gonna have to decide if you're gonna buy the land or be in a manufactured home park because that's gonna change the amount you're gonna to have to borrow as well as the amount you're gonna to have to save for the down payment. This is a topic people love to debate. There are people that will only buy their land, then there are people that really like to be in manufactured home parks. It depends on your personal finances and overall situation. I've seen both options work really well for people. If you decide to buy the land, the amount you mortgage will be higher because it includes both the home and the land as a package. That means that you're gonna to have to save more for a down payment. If you decide to go in a manufactured home park, the overall cost is gonna be less because the land is leased, which means you're gonna to have to save less for a down payment. However, the lender will take the monthly pattern into consideration when deciding how much you can afford monthly, as they should. When you find out how much of a mortgage you qualify for, look at the monthly payment. Is that something you feel you can comfortably pay every single month? Keep in mind there are other expenses with home ownership. You've got property taxes, you've got insurance, maintenance, utilities, and all that fun stuff. I've noticed people tend to spend the entire amount they get approved for, or even push it a little bit higher, and then they're totally stressed out. Really think about if you need an 1800 square foot house or would a 1500 square foot house be almost the same? Do you need to have every single option available or could you scale it back a little bit? This is probably gonna be an unpopular opinion but there's absolutely nothing wrong with spending less than you qualify for. To me, it means less financial stress and in my opinion, less stress is a good thing. Something to think about. Step two is to start looking at floor plans. I would suggest waiting until you have an idea of what you wanna spend before you start looking too seriously at homes. Most of the sales centers stock high-end big homes, so if you start looking before you know what your budget is, you might find yourself disappointed if you fall in love with one of those big, heavily upgraded lot models. You can browse floor plans on the manufacturer's website, an authorized dealer's website, or even places like Pinterest. You wanna get a general idea of what you might think might work for your lifestyle without totally committing to it. There are two reasons you don't wanna to totally commit to a plan just yet. Number one, it might feel totally different than you expected it to. Looking at a plan on paper is completely different than going inside the home and getting a true feel for it in person. The plan you thought looked perfect might not end up being what you expected when you actually tour it. Whenever possible, it's always a good idea to tour a lot model of the floor plan that you like before actually ordering the home just to make sure it feels right. Number two, if you don't have land yet, the plan will likely change to suit the lot. You wanna make sure the layout works well on the lot. 
taking advantage of logical door locations, views, and everything else of that nature. If you already know exactly where the home is going, just ignore this point. But if you don't, you can't really decide on a plan until you figure out where it's going. Step three is to decide who you want to buy the home from. You're going to have a relationship with this company for the next two to 12 months. So it's really important that you take your time and decide who you want to buy it from. Some of the factors you want to take into consideration when making this decision are, do they have a good reputation? Are their prices fair? Do they have their own development? This can be a huge benefit because then they can offer a home and land package, which makes financing the entire project a lot easier. Finally, can they meet your required timeline? One thing I wouldn't choose a company for is a specific floor plan. Here's a hot tip for you. Any factory can build any floor plan. For example, let's say I have a floor plan that you really love. I go so far as to even call it the Kerry Tarno exclusive floor plan. But for whatever reason, you decide you don't want to work with me. You can take that plan to any of the home providers in your area and walk in and say, how much for this? It's a lot like Field of Dreams, but backwards. If you come with money, they will build it. So don't think you have to buy from a certain place because the plan has a fancy name. You get that sucker built wherever you want. If a company says they can't do custom plans, that's just their business model. They like to keep things streamlined and understand that. However, someone else can build it. Find someone to build it that you're comfortable working with. To summarize, good reputation, fair prices, reasonable timeline, and anyone can build anything if they want to. At this point, you've picked a floor plan, you know who you're buying it from, and you know where you're gonna put it. Step four is to choose all the colors, the decors, and any upgrades that you wanna to add to the house. You get to pick cabinets, tiles, countertops, appliances, floors, exterior colors, shingles, and on and on and on. There are a lot of choices to be made. I recommend doing a little bit of research before you go in for this appointment because it's gonna be overwhelming if you walk in with no idea of what you want and just kind of wing it when you get there. To give you an idea of just how many decisions you're gonna to have to make, this is all the cabinets available. So you're gonna to have to make these choices for every part of the house and it can be really overwhelming. Let's talk about some upgrades. When it comes to upgrades, there are so many options to choose from and they can really drive up the price fast. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you how to or not to spend your money, but I will tell you it's easy to get carried away and the price can go up rather quickly. And by this point, you've usually picked the company you're gonna be working with, and as such, you've given away all of your negotiating power. If possible, pick all your upgrades before the company knows you've officially committed to them. It'll just help you negotiate. I've got a full video on negotiating the price coming, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see that one. Step five, the final step in the process, is to pay the down payment and sign the contract. Now, it's just a waiting game. The wait can be anywhere from six weeks to 12 months or more and can drastically vary depending on how busy the company is and the time of the year. Right now, given the current real estate market, expect wait times to be longer than normal. If you're in the market for a new manufactured home, this guide should give you an idea of what to expect at every step of the process. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.